Polymer Clay TV. I'm Elisa, and this is a really fun project. I'm going to show you bits and pieces, and I have some that's already baked so you can see, but lots of cool stuff going on here. What I'm making are these really cool bracelets, and I've formed them around a metal cup, but you can use a can or a, even glass, whatever you have to form it. I just happen to have this and it worked out beautifully. Here's another one I did. And it, I, I form it so that it fits on my wrist nicely. And then I have some of our leather bracelet pieces here because it just looked so cool, you know, as a, as, as a bracelet with this leather. And it was easy to do. You just slide it in, come to the back and slide it in on the other side and add your, your findings on the end and you've got a really, really nice bracelet and with little effort. So let me show you how I did this so you get an idea. Um, and there's a, a few fun things in here that uh, I'm gonna show you. I have cutters, as you can see. I've got ink and some of the cabochons and this is a rubber stamp which um, I'm not going to tell you because it's a surprise, <laughs> but anyways, I've already stamped this rubber stamp and this is really how I would start out. I would condition my clay, roll it out to, this is my fourth thickest setting on my pasta machine. It's about yay big. You can see here. It's not super thick. You know, if you're really hard on things, I would definitely go a little thicker if you, you know, although this clay really doesn't break easily. You know, it's it's Primo brand that I'm using. The, this is the souffle. You know, if you want, if you feel like you're going to break it, go a little thicker. Go with the number one. But I went with the number four, and I was fine. But I had this cutter here from the Potion. It's a Potion cutter, Potion bottle cutter. And this came out of the special edition ha Halloween box that we did for Create Along. But uh, I'll have them in the shop in case you want them. So basically, I stamped my clay with this stamp, and... I'll give you a little teaser. It is uh, on its way. That's all I'm going to say right now. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, just give it a little push. I don't like working on this silicone, but that's all I have. I prefer to work on glass or tile. It cuts better and I can kind of move it around. But And that helps me clean up my edges easier. But since I don't have glass or tile that I can use, I'm just going to do it and clean up my edges pretty fast by hand. You can use obviously a tool to help you clean these, you know, or a knitting needle. And there you have it. Let me put this down so you can see a little better. So there that is. Simple, simple, simple. Okay. And what I did was I made a flower on this one and on this one. Okay. And so I just used this cutter and what I did on this one, this was one of our sets of mandalas that we have. And then I added a cabochon in the middle. And then on, around the edge, I took pan pastel and I added copper on there to kind of finish it off. And this was just another silk screen with, with, over some scrap. So it's a neat way to use up your scrap too, you know, and you can do really cool things with it. So that was that. And this one here that I haven't, you know, added anything to is... Um, I never promised you a rose garden. That's the name of the new silk screen. And I actually did this one here, which you'll see. I'm going to cut out these holes. I did it with a little our new flower cutter, but for this one, I'm going to use one of the round plunger cutters. And what you want to do is be careful um, so that you're not so close to the edge. Like you don't want to come all the way to the edge. You want to back it up a little so that it doesn't break easily. And I, I try to hold it and give it a little twist so I get a nice cut. There you go. And I'll get back to the flower. <laughs> I was just about to tell you about that, I think. Um, and so you line it up. But make sure, like I said, that it's not too close to the edge because you don't want it to break. So that's perfect. That's your hole so that you can then string it whatever way you want. If you want to use the leather, if you want to make be something with beads, you know, maybe something with multiple strands of beads, that would look really cool. So... Okay, how did I do this middle part? This is on translucent clay, okay? And what I did was, we now have, or are going to have, I should say, Color Me Magic Transfer Papers in Color. We've been planning this for a long time, probably. 
<laughs> eight years, something like that. We actually used to have them in color, but so many people have been asking us that we're going back and we're going to add color. This was just some prototypes Kira did for me. So this was in purple and I did it on this, uh, what color is this clay? That uh, is bluestone and that's souffle as well. So let me just show you that real fast, transferring it just so you can see how easy it is. It's, it works exactly the same way as if you transfer the black and white magic transfer paper. I mean, there is no difference whatsoever, obviously, other than the color. So just pour a little water on it, run it under the faucet, and you'll start to see the design coming through. And then you can just start wiping off the paper. And it's really as simple as that. <laughs> you see the design. And so you will obviously, which I didn't tell you, is you also want to have paper towels um, available for this. And wipe up any extra paper. <laughs> and so you would just do it until your design's completely, you know, um, clear of paper. And you could feel it. It has like a slimy feel to it. Well... Yeah, that's the only way to describe it. It has kind of a slimy feel to it, but that's the paper coming off. And that's it. Simple, simple, simple. So at this point, let me dry this off. You can use your cutters and cut out whatever shape you want. Here I'm doing the, the flowers. Let me dry this. And so I'd come back. There's still some paper on it, but whatever. I'm just showing you for now. So... I try to get it in the middle here. Let me just move this. It might be out of out of your your uh, camera view, but I, I think this is as close to being as centered as I can get at this point because I can't really see that great. And so I would cut it out. Let me try cutting it out on here. Again, if I had the glass or the tile, it would cut out beautifully, really easy. The silicone, as you can see doesn't like to cooperate as much and there you have it you just pull it right out of your cookie cutter and you got to clean up your edges and you're good to go so let's do that this I'm out in the studio today filming and believe it or not it was in the 40s this morning here in northern Florida which I'm loving by the way I'm not complaining in any way go away 90 degree weather we are so tired of it <laughs> so you get the gist. I'm not going to spend all the time cleaning it up. I'm just going to show you. Now, I feel there's still some paper on there, so I would go back. And you'll know, because here's one right here that I did, and you can see the whiteness on there. Obviously, you haven't gotten all the paper off if there's still white on there. So all you do is you come back again with water, or, or you go under the faucet. Either or, you know. I just can't bring the faucet to film. So, and you just, you know, run your fingers over it until you feel that paper come off. Simple, simple. Okay, so let's move on. <laughs> Let me just try this. So we've cut our little piece right here. That's when you want to use your uh, can or whatever it is that you're going to use. And you want to form it on there so that it's nicely shaped for, your, for a bracelet. And then you would just lay your piece on here now the, what you do have to watch for is that you don't cover up your holes so you want your and that's why I, what I liked about the flower was because it looks like it's supposed to have the petals coming up you know a flower so I would just line it up so that I can see that there's enough room on either side for the holes and then I would give it a, a push and, and adhere it which I'm probably not going to do right now because I still want to clean it up before I bake it and then you could come back with cabochons and add those, which is what I did here. Oops, sorry. Drops these here. This is um, this is the same cutter, this one here, which is um, in the shop as well. And then these are the purple cabochons. And this is the magic transfer paper in a purple color over translucent. And this is just plain purple, obviously. Oh, I didn't show you me ink. I didn't show you ink in it. So let me show you that real fast. Actually, I can leave it right there. I actually inked that one right there. And I just used, you know, a uh, pigment ink and went around it to highlight it a little more and pop it. You can see the design better, which it makes it look a whole lot cooler when you do that. 
and then you can add this. And really that's all there is to it. It's a super cute bracelet. You know, you, like I said, string it anyway. Um, string it with, with, lep, with the leather if you want. You can get cool looks. I think, I think three different designs come in each one. And so you, I start from the front here and when you bring it around the back, you want to make sure that the leather is flush against here. You don't want it buckled up like this at all. You want it flush like this before you go adding your, you, can, you would just put your um, ribbon clasps on. And there you have it. Just a cute, cute bracelet and uh, lots and lots of possibilities. And uh, as Noelle reminded me with a, she went to Michael's and she found this little uh, pad that had the sky is the limit because I always say that. So definitely the sky is the limit with this project. You can just have fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And don't forget, Polymer Clay Adventure, our virtual retreat is is uh, now open to sign up and we even have a payment plan if you need that. But it's only $99 for the entire year. You get all the classes. We're gonna have pop-up classes. We have a Facebook group this year to share in, which makes things so much easier. You'll get your videos to download. So if you wanna take them on the go, you'll have that. This is our fifth anniversary and we planned a lot of fun stuff. So I hope you join us at polymerclayadventure.com. And I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Mm -hmm.